Manchester United are finally getting closer to signing a midfielder, and it looks like it'll be Sofian Amrabat from Fiorentina. So, just to start out, who is Sofian Amrabat? He's a Moroccan midfielder that played a massive part in their campaign for the World Cup over the summer. I'm just going to take a very quick look at his stats just to show what sort of role he'll play in the Manchester United side. And to be honest, he looks like he'll fit in absolutely perfectly. As you can see from the top, the top part of his statistics, he doesn't have many goals. He's not got much XG, doesn't take many shots in the slightest, and he doesn't get many assists either. So you might be wondering what's the point of him. That's where all of this comes in. He's more of a player that will cycle the ball, receive it, give it to the more creative players, and that'll do. His defensive stats are also not incredible, but Fiorentina aren't a massively defensive side. This guy effectively plays as a box-to-box -box number eight, which is something that Manchester United really need at the moment because all of their midfielders are a little bit too attacking. They've not got someone that is firmly defensive to work alongside Casemiro. And while Samrabat doesn't have that much experience of the hard defensive stuff, he can still play as fairly effectively as a pivot. Now, why do Manchester United need Sofi and Amrabat? And there's pretty obvious reasons. I'm going to take a quick look at their depth chart at the moment, and it doesn't look good in midfield over here. Mason Mount is out, but he's an attacking midfielder anyway. Christian Eriksen is not a defensive midfielder. Van der Beek is on the way out. Ahmad Diallo is injured and doesn't fit the right position. Kobi Mainu is another defensive midfielder, but He's not really ready to start all the Premier League matches yet. And then we've got Fernandez, who's effectively a number 10, and Casemiro, who is the only fit defensive midfielder at the club. They really need a defensive midfielder in there. And I think Amrabat is the way forward. Even when you consider the other defensive midfielders, McTominay's on the way out, let's be honest. They need someone to fill in that role and not just be a squad player, but play a big role in the first 11 at the side. Now... Manchester United also really need him because they've got some big issues going on. Their failure to get that many goals, their best goal scorer has one, and there's four of them. There's no clear chances that are being provided from the midfield, and that can be fixed with someone that can progress the ball decently towards the wingers, towards the centre forward, and provide opportunities. Amrabat can be that. He can also help defensively because I think Manchester United have really struggled to deserve their points so far this season. That might seem harsh to say, but they got lucky when Onana basically punched a Wolves player and the performances have been firmly subpar all season so far. Now, will Fiorentina let Sofian Amrabat go? That could be a slightly more complex question. Serie A is highly competitive. There's always a bunch of teams that could win it. Arguably, in Europe, it's one of the more competitive leagues. Whether or not they let him go. The answer seems to be a very, very firm yes. Fabrizio Romano, for example, has said that the club are very, very happy to let him go. That's the wrong one. The club are very, very happy to let him go, even on loan. They've got enough midfielders around him. I can't remember who exactly Fiorentina have, but they're not relying heavily on Amrabat. And the fact that there is a loan move available is especially good for Manchester United. They can negotiate something like a loan move with a permanent to come and save themselves a little bit of money in the short term, especially since FFP is looking like it could be an issue with the Glazers continuing to not invest. The ownership situation is still to be resolved, but it could be a major issue for the club. Anyway, let me know what you think. Will Manchester United end up signing Sofi and Amrabat? Let me know in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe. I will see you later throughout the rest of a busy deadline day.